So welcome to day three of uh, Inner Trance and it's uh, been a busy couple of days. This morning I'm with Johan. Johan is working in the Egypt region which as you know is booming from a rail perspective. So what are you guys doing? I saw a media release recently that you're actually setting up a manufacturing plant there. Yeah. yeah. So tell me more about that. Yeah, the, let's say that the, the manufacturing plant is, is more or less the last step we do in the market. So we, we started in Egypt decades ago, but uh, so the last, let's say, 30 years, there was not really much uh, business. They didn't do anything with the railways, just the uh, minimum maintenance. Yes. And then since uh, Alcisi came into power, things changed dramatically. So they had a focus on all infrastructure, if it is ports or airports or roads, and of course, in the info, um, railway infrastructure. Mm. And uh, when we realized uh, this uh, ambitious plans, this master plan 2013, mm. which they um, made, uh, then of course we had also a focus on that, we are monitoring that, and so really they are doing a lot. So they, they try to uh, encourage uh, international companies to come on the market, they encourage their own construction companies to step into the business, into the railway business, because so far there was only one of them um, in, this, in this business active. And when we saw all that, then we, we started to, to find out how are our possibilities there? Mm -hmm. uh, are we competitive enough? What is the need of the customer? How is the whole environment? And we started then uh, in, uh, with, with uh, offering and supplying then finally to the big uh, um, rehabilitation projects. So mm. then the last two, three years, uh, we got awarded some big projects. And uh, then we saw that this is not the end. So this is really the beginning of a way they, they stepped in. And uh, so there is sustainability. And that was for us the reason. And in particular also that we could win uh, the tender for the for the turnouts and all this stuff uh, for the for the high speed line, yes. which they in parallel built new. It is 1,800 yes. kilometers of, of new high speed network, and that was then uh, the final de the decision for us, or the, the the basis for the final decision for us, that we said um, let's talk with uh, the railway mm -hmm. uh, if uh, there is a chance and if there is, if there is an interest of their side as well. Uh, to cooperate with us and uh, this was the case and, and uh, the transport minister is, is absolutely in front of these ideas, is really backing us uh, and uh, so we, we, we came to the decision we do it and, and now we are on the, in the stage of uh, it's a mobilization already so we, we are very close to finalize everything and think that by end of this uh, month mm. we will we will sign all the last things and uh, that we can start with uh, the investments okay and uh, in parallel start production of the of the current uh, uh, technology they produce there and mm. then upgrade it to international um, quality uh, levels uh, so that they really have all the benefit they want to have. They do not only want to have the, uh, the work inside, they do not only have to want the, the local scope, they also want to upgrade, of course, uh, the technology. And uh, coming into that stage that once everything is covered in, the, the whole demand is covered in, in, in Egypt, that they also go uh, cross-border and, and would like oh, to export, export uh, yes. in particular to the northern part and to the central part of Africa, at, where they have good contacts. Mm. And uh, yeah, this is, this is the plan from both of us now, from the Egyptian National Railways as well as of us with this joint venture. So um, when do you think you'll be getting to the part where you'll be exporting railway? This is very hard to say because we, we do not know how long it will last to uh, satisfy all the demands they have in the country and that is big. Because yes. This is the second largest uh, railway market in, in Africa, aside of course South Africa which is much bigger, 
but they have uh, also already uh, roughly 10,000 kilometers of, of track. Mm. And uh, what for us is of, of importance, they have around 7,000 turnouts uh, installed already and uh, help their attenders out and projects running for another, let's say, 1,000. So let's say 8,000 by end of 2023. And uh, this is just a part of that. As you can see, there are 7,000 old installed, only 1,000 so far, 1,500 replaced. Mm. So there's a lot of remaining yes. old uh, stuff into the into the track, which mm. has to refurbish, which which has to replace. And uh, we guess it could it could take uh, maybe another 10 years to uh, replace all this uh, old stuff. And of course, there are extensions where they build new lines, where they connect new industries and this yeah. stuff, and new ports and so on. So that uh, everything is really done. Mm. And that only the, the, the maintenance work is, is, is the majority of work then. And this is then the, the, the time where we say this could be, and of course, in the preparation, we will start a little bit earlier, but uh, where we really could start or sink on, on a start of export out of uh, of, ex, uh, of, of Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. Well, I think it's very exciting. I think you're going to be busy for a few more years before mm. you get to to that point. But oh, it's definitely. Still, it's a still, you know, a good step in the right direction mm. for servicing that region, certainly, and being closer to the customers within that mm. region. So thank you, Johan, for your time. You're welcome. And it was uh, a pleasure I'll, for me. Hopefully, I'll see you in Egypt. <laughs> yes, it would be a pleasure to see you in Egypt. Yeah.